Hey, what's everyone? Same time gaming here. Welcome back from Division 2 video. Well, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how can you get exotics basically whenever you want. Like, if you want exotics right now, you can have it. After watching this video, you're going to be end up with tons of exotics. That's that I can guarantee you. Whether you're a new player or returning player, you really need an exotic, or you're a player that's playing the game for a while and you need that exotic component because you want to put it in your expertise system because you know you want to level up your weapon damage, right? Because every time you increase your expertise level on your weapon, you get an extra weapon damage from it, like 1%. So whether, whatever the case, if you need exotics, then you want to watch this. I'm going to show you a bunch of ways. Some ways might be more efficient than the other. But I'm just going to show you. You decide which one you feel like it's good for you and you want to do that. All right. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do to get like guaranteed exotics every single week, you can get three exotic per character. Just open your map, go to your projects and see if you have done your projects or not. If you haven't, just do that, okay? So you have your weekly SSD requisition where you just donate a bunch of resources and components and stuff like that and you just get an exotic cache. Like, you can do it anytime you want. Like, don't miss this out, okay? That's a guaranteed exotic cache right there. Uh, quick tip though, when you're doing this, just make sure you have like heroic uh, difficulty in your, in your world difficulty and you have activated like five directives. Why is that? Because you can get a lot of XP from it. Like, I mean, it's a one-time thing, but you can get a lot of XP from it. So if you want, if you're interested on that, just do that. And the cool thing about it, you can do it in your multiple characters because this is not account wide. You, it, it's character basis. So you can do this on this character. Then you can switch to another character and do it over there. And then another, if you have four characters, you can get four exotics out of, uh, out of this, this thing. Yeah. And the next one you want to do is obviously your weekly legendary mission. Right now there is district union arena. Uh, next week is going to be a different mission. It's kind of cycles around. So whichever missions available there, just do that. Just complete it. Uh, and you'll get an exotic cash. And also, you can do Summit, for example. You have 30 floors. Uh, that's the objective. So just do it 30 floors in any difficulty. If you really want to just quickly do it, just do it on normal difficulty. Because it says any difficulty, right? So just do it and you'll get exotic cash. If you want to farm, you can do it on Heroic or whatever. But yeah, just do that and you'll, you'll get it. So do this in every character that you have. You'll get more exotics out of it. Three exotic guaranteed in every character, right? Which is nice. Now, the next thing you want to do to get exotic caches is your season. In your season, you will have a bunch of leagues. Like right now, it's ended, uh, but, you know, because the season is ending. So when there's a new season comes out, there will be a bunch of leagues. You can do the leagues and in the rewards, you'll get exotics and also global event. Like right now, we have global event going on. We'll have this global event for an entire week as well. So you can just do the global event because in the reward track of the global event, you have, uh, you know, exotic, uh, exotic caches in the reward track. But also the most important thing is for a global event is that when you complete the challenges of global event, you end up getting, uh, you know, stars and those stars, you can actually spend those stars uh, in the global event vendor, which is obviously over here. You can come and open this menu. You'll see there is an exotic cache over there, which you just need to spend 20 stars to get exotic cash. So if you're doing the challenges and you're collecting the stars, do spend those stars to, uh, you know, get the exotic caches. Now, remember this, that you need to spend all the stars before the global event is over. Otherwise, obviously, you're going to lose the stars. So just, you know, use and get uh, exotic caches. You can get named item caches over here as well. A bunch of other caches if you want, you can pick them out. But yeah, global event is also a nice way to get exotic caches pretty much whenever you want. But for that, obviously, the global event needs to be active in the first place. But now you're going to ask me, hey, hold on. What if I want exotics every single day? How can I get that? Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, that's one of the options, which is the vendors. Right now, you can see in the countdown vendor, we have exotic cash in the countdown vendor, right? And you need countdown credit to get the exotic cash. You can buy a bunch of exotic caches from here as long as you're doing countdown, uh, you know, event, which is there permanently, right? You can do it anytime you want and you don't have to do it solo. You can match make, you can play with other players, uh, you know, let them carry you maybe and you can get countdown credit from that don't forget to extract yourself don't die because you get more countdown credit if you successfully uh, do the extraction and doing so you're getting obviously countdown credit and with that countdown credit you can buy exotic caches as much as you want because it's here permanently forever now since we're talking about vendor i think they did mention in the pts or where i think they're adding uh, exotic caches to the dark zone vendors you know i don't know how that's going to work out whether you're going to need dark zone credit to purchase dark zone caches but it's a one-time thing or it's just going to stay there permanently. So you just have to go and play Dark Zone and get Dark Zone credit and then buy as much Dark Zone cash as you want. It could be that case. I'm not really sure about this. So I don't really not going to talk about this as an option. But, you know, maybe in the future it will be probably because they said they're, well, they're going to do it. 
Anyway, so since we're talking about getting exotic caches from countdown credit, let's talk about the ways you can actually get the exotics whenever you want. All right, in my opinion, literally the best place you can actually get the exotics that you want is Countdown. Yes, Countdown, you can get any exotic you want. I mean, excluding great exclusive uh, exotics because you can get Eagle Better and, uh, you know, Ravenous and those guns from like Dark Zones nowadays. They enabled it over there. So you can get it over there. But if you just want any other exotics, you can get it from Countdown. Or if you're a guy who doesn't care what exotic you get, you just want the exotic because you want to dismantle it for exotic components. Again, Countdown. Countdown is your best friend. Obviously, after you've done the ones that I just mentioned, you know, your weekly projects, your legendary missions, uh, your global events and stuff like that. So I'll tell you uh, how you can even increase your chance of getting uh, exotics from Countdown. So go to your targeted loot and select your targeted loot to Assault Rifle uh, if you want like St. Alamos or anything. Or you can change it to like Mask if you want like Coyote or something. If you want Ninja or you want like Memento, change it to Backpack. Just make sure before you start Countdown. I mean, you can do it when you're in Countdown as well. Uh, you change your targeted loot but just make sure it's not on a brand set or a gear set because if you're on a brand set or gear set that will reduce your chance of getting the exotic so just make sure it's on a weapon or a gear that is not a brand set or a gear set right it doesn't matter if you're first time farming it for your first exotic or you're farming for exotic component just follow this out okay because countdown has a timer it's always ticking there's a bunch of activities you need to do over there and every npc has a chance of giving you the exotics okay bosses have a higher chance of dropping you as well as you can get it from the big boxes, the caches over there, containers, whatever that is, you can get it from there. Also, hunters, hunters can give you exotics as well. So there's a bunch of ways you can get it. Now, even if you get super unlucky, you didn't get any exotics, just make sure you extract. Because if you do extract, you get more countdown credit. And now you can use that countdown credit in the countdown vendor to get what? Exotic cash, right? So whatever you're doing in the countdown, as long as you're doing it properly, you can uh, get the exotics from, you know, playing the countdown. If not, you can get the exotics from the countdown vendor, from the countdown caches, right? So it's pretty much a win-win. I mean, I end up getting like two exotics as well in one run. My friend got three. He's a lucky guy, you know. So it can happen. So you can you can get more, you can get none. But, you know, there's always a chance of getting it. So do that. Also, you can play Summit if you're a solo player. You can play Summit to get, uh, you know, exotics there as well. But I don't think it's that much efficient as the countdown is because you have that vendor to reward you with the caches as well, right? Uh, with the credit. Uh, you can also uh, try to get exotics from like open world open world will give you as well so if you're like just uh, uh, roaming around free roaming with your friends having fun you can just do some control points and stuff just make sure your targeted loot like the one the targeted loot that you're farming in the area is not gear set or brand set so then you have a higher chance like if there's like a assault rifle targeted loot smg targeted loot backpack chest piece um, gloves or mask targeted loot do it over there so you have a chance of getting uh, you know, higher chance of getting the exotics from control points or any activity you're doing or even missions because mission has bosses, right? So do follow these methods and I'm pretty sure you're going to end up at least five to six, if not 10 uh, exotics every single day if you just farm it efficiently. So do let me know in the comment section if this video was helpful, then obviously give it a like and, uh, you know, subscribe if you want to because I'm going to keep on doing videos like this and uh, definitely do that comment because of the algorithm, you know what I mean? And I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.